Well, there's always time for a bit of space and we've got a new mission to talk about. In fact, a mission to discover new planets around our nearest neighbours in the Alpha Centauri system is underway at the moment. The proposed telescope project will be on the lookout for planets in the star system that's four light years away. It could be looking for life. It's an exciting development and to take us through it, I'm joined by Professor Peter Tuttle, uh, astronomer and project leader at the Sydney Institute for Astronomy. Good morning, Peter. Can you tell us what this mission is and what what is it you're looking for? Uh, so our mission has the name of Ptolemon, which is one of the, uh, the names for the Alpha Cent star system from antiquity. And what we're going to be looking for is one of the kind of holy grails in my field, which is uh, we only have one example of, of life, that's life as we know it here on Earth, that we know of so far. We hope there might be other life in the solar system. But if we want to go looking for life as we know it, what we want to do is try and find as analogous, as similar a system to the Earth as we can. So we want to look for a star like our own sun. We want to look like a rock, like the one we're living on now, the Earth. And we want that planet to be in the same orbit as the Earth around its host star. So don't we already know about thousands of exoplanets? Why do we need a new mission? Yeah, well, that's a great question. Um, we actually don't know so many of those Earth analog exoplanets. A lot of the planets we can find uh, we actually find them by essentially getting lucky. It's kind of a little dark secret in my field that we're not nearly as good at finding exoplanets as perhaps uh, might be portrayed. There are thousands of them out there in catalogues, but often we need to get lucky in order to find those planets. So if you ask the question, is there a planet around the very nearest star? That's actually very hard for us to answer. We don't have a good technology to do that. So that's where my mission comes in. I'm trying to find out whether there's a planet around the very nearest star system to Earth. And so what will you be doing differently from what people are already doing in the search? Um, well, we're looking for very, very subtle signals. In fact, planet hunting is a hard game. All of the signals you're looking for are subtle. Planets are very, very small and faint by comparison with, with stars, which are very massive and bright. So it's like kind of like looking for a a tiny fleck of light next to a really powerful uh, arc lamp or something. So in order to make that tractable, we have to key off these really subtle signals that uh, might betray the presence of a planet. In fact, the signal I'm looking for is a tiny side to side wobble as the unseen planet orbits and tugs the host star around with it. Um, it's a really, really small effect, but that motivates my, that's why I've got to go into space to do this. That's why I've got to have a really high precision telescope and all of this clever technology we had to develop, uh, which is actually somewhat distinct from the normal way that astronomers go about discovering those large catalogues of exoplanets you just mentioned. Well, fingers crossed that the mission is a complete success. And who knows, we could have some life somewhere in our neighbourhood, even if it is still four light years away. Peter, good luck. Thank you very much for joining us on News Breakfast this morning. Thanks very much. There could be life out there, team. I think Peter's the man to find out.